Hello there and welcome to Sling Paint Gaming, hosted by Recon Specialist TV. I am Patrick Patrick. And I'm Padre. And welcome to the review, the article, just the whole shebang of the Droid Tri Fighter. My goodness. This thing is an amazing addition to the Separatists. This is the ace that the Separatists have been uh, not waiting for because they already have the Petronaki aces. I, I guess anticipating that FFG would put out that it's just, oh, I can't say anything bad about this ship. I really can't. <laughs> what do you think? No, no, this, 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 is, this is a bad mamma jamma. <laughs> I mean, it's, no, it's a really good ship, but like, no, no, it, it, it's 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 good to be bad. I mean, this is like, I mean, <laughs> I it has interceptor in the name, but this is like interceptor empire Sunterfell good, uh, all yeah, around. Yeah. I mean, no, let's the, let's do it, uh, because yeah, um, right out of the gate, you get a nice initiative three ship, the separatist interceptor. I mean, look at that action economy. That's yeah, pretty that's, sweet. I know, mean, it's it's. Go ahead. For 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 a ship, I mean, it's it's the interceptor. It's you know right in the middle. It's a three. Yep. You know, three initiative. Uh, the only happiness going on with it, like with everything else in the CIS, it's network calculations. Yeah. We all know while you defend or perform an attack, you may spend one fellow calculate token blah 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 blah. this goes on forever and ever and ever and ever because <laughs> they're all droids exactly but the ship has got everything and a bag of chips on it yeah so for, for for shenanigans all right let's go over it real quick calculate so all those relay droids it's going to be able to benefit from them it's got an evade action that's not red so it's going to be able to maybe link all those actions because there's nothing more annoying than something that has a, an act or has a calculate which is basically one force and then also an evade action so you might see it to where the, they stagger a little bit they take some take evades some take the calculates and they just get to share the calculates between them um <laughs> god i really hope they can't take a, a, an ept slot so all of a sudden juke comes back but anyways uh you get your target lock <laughs> Yeah, target lock, it is not red, which is another good thing, um, because you don't have to take up a slot doing targeting computer, it automatically gets it, and then, yep. uh, forgive me, this looks something that is not repeated often, it's got a barrel roll into an evade, or a boost into a calculate, not one or the other, it's not barrel roll calculate, boost calculate, or vice versa, and... right. That's going to be tricky. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to yes, lie. Yes, it is. Because people are going to uh, want to barrel roll, take that calculate, and they're not going to, or they might want to boost and evade, and they won't be able to either. <laughs> yeah. You're going to boost and calculate, or you're going to barrel roll and evade. Yep. You can't, so, you can't have all three. Keep that in mind, because you're going to, like, I'm terrible, people. I'm going to do that barrel roll and take that and go for the calculate and be like, oh, nerds <laughs> it's not gonna work yeah um and now then... the other thing the other thing that this has got going for it though is it's like and from what i've seen of the calculates it's like yeah might as well take the calculate yeah, yeah. it'll be red but i'll fix it later yeah with network calculations it's... i that's it's amazing um especially if you yeah, want to get into that range I don't see this yeah 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 this is not going to be a bad thing no, and then we've seen this. This is classic. Three attack, three evade, three hull. Um, we know that that is something to be feared. Uh, it's Because TIE Fighters, they're the basis for the whole entire game. They're only two attack dice, but this thing is the, th the threes across the board. The triple threat, I'm going to call it. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. It's, it's nine. It's the square root of nine. Exactly. And it's it's because of the fact that these things come with network calculations. They all work together. And then it's got this, this beautiful setup that I think these things are going to be very dangerous out on the tables. 
um and they're yeah. going to work well with whatever you have set up if you want to put it with droids if you want or the you know the the vulture droids if you want to put it with some bombers uh, yes i know the nantex <laughs> i didn't i didn't want to mention them fear of triggering people but it, 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 here we are um yeah i know nantex. Just so ffg gave us this one there is just a generic um initiative one ship and that is the holy coid interceptor so you do have those little base uh initiative one ships that can fly with the droids move at the same initiative um and all the other ships that y you like to fly in the swarms and you don't like to stagger them or move the initiative three before or move the initiative ones before the threes and have to deal with that mess they give you initiative one and you're off to the races right yep or you can just fly these which... in a swarm which is a thing <laughs> Yeah, but you know you can keep it cheap when you go down with the uh, with the initiative one pilots, or in this case, droids. Yeah, um, exactly. So you know, there's there's quite a few pilots in this uh, in this group. Yes. So all together, I mean, it's not the most I don't think we've ever seen, but fifteen upgrade cards are coming in this pack. Yeah. I mean, and, and Oddball's got to be one of the pilots too. I I was I was looking for him. I could not find him. He might still be here. Oddball, please. This would be a great ship for you to try out. Please jump just, into one. Just so far, he flies everything. He does. <laughs> it's it's a good running joke. I hope they keep it going. Like all of a sudden, if an epic ship comes out for some reason, he is either a crew card or he's a pilot for one of the captain. Yeah, he's the captain. You know, I could just see him sitting on top of the. Uh, of of the tri fighter on that top arc, just sitting there holding some reins, and if he's like, yeah, oh man, that would be good See, for alt art. Now I want it of a world where's Waldo type thing. So I, people, you can steal this idea <laughs> if Waldo? if you want to make alternate art cards of anything in the, in the Galactic Republic, just make sure oddballs in the back somewhere every time, <laughs> just every okay. time. All right, on to on to the things, uh, Buzz Droids. Buzz droids. Who doesn't like buzz droids? I, I'm oh. not gonna lie. There's they're so thematic and yummy. I I love the fact that they're actually in the game, um, because uh, the scene in the movie is is great. To where Anakin's trying to do everything to get them off the ship. He's shooting at Obi Wan. He's trying to ram them off. Uh, it, like they're a great addition to the game. These things are obviously going to have the Discord missiles to where they can take them. Um, yeah, and if uh, of course if you don't have them yet, this is a great pack to pick them up in. Yeah. All right. So and the fact that they get three defense dice—that's just that's yeah. just so wrong. The three defense dice in the one hull. That I mean, it makes them tough to kill, uh, and it also wastes not wastes, but it deviates a shot to those instead of something else that you want to really mm -hmm. kill. Um, so well, you, you got to get rid of it, or it's just going to harass you the entire time. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so, DIS-347, not DAT-347 that you're all thinking of. Uh, target acquired. Do you want to read this one, Padre? Sure. Uh, DIS-347 reads, At the start of the engagement phase, you may acquire a lock on an object, object at range 1 to 3 that has a friendly lock. Yeah. And, and we had this discussion, Patrick, of what is exactly an object yeah i mean it's very common sense it's like it's an object it's anything that's on the map but i couldn't find the actual reading for it. i know it exists i just we quickly were trying to find it uh, but yeah object is anything in that three by three map that you know can be acquired as a lock and this thing can then uh use that lock it's incredible so if you leave your range two ruler on the mat I'm going to lock that thing. <laughs> I Sure. I'm going to lock it. Yep. I mean, I hope that's a thing. Because I really... Can't I, move it. I dislike having to take a lock onto a rock, and then, of course, it's just there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I really wish FFG would say, you you have to lock something, but you may not place the lock. On, but it would just be a whole big mess. Never mind, FFG. Ignore me. Um, yeah, don't do yeah, this is really good. Uh, it It's something to the fact to where I hope shenanigans don't come with it later 
in this game's <laughs> evolution. Um, but yeah, this thing's you can only take one of them, which is great. Um, but yeah, this guy can easily be a flanker um, to where the rest of your fleet just lock something. He comes around, he can acquire target lock on it as well, and then use his calculates with uh, whatever else he might have. So there you go. Dis 347. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, he's going to dis you. Now there's been debate. I want people in chat or in the, the, the comments below. I want you to tell me how you pronounce this thing. Is it Flack Arfok or is it Plaque Arfok or Flack Arpok? <laughs> I tried looking it up. I couldn't find out what it's actually supposed to be. Um, but and, and don't go for the the obvious. Just 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 don't. I, yeah, I, the the Flack Arfok. Uh, that that just screams interpretations for other meanings, but um, the the ability is scary enough to make you forget about its name. During the system phase, you may spend your lock on a ship to look at that ship's dial. There's no range restrictions. Uh, yep, and it, just look at the dial. It happens during the systems phase, which, of course, it's before dials are revealed, so that's even better. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie, we talked about this already. With the Petronaki Aces, I mean, this ship particularly is going to be anywhere from 47 to maybe 51 points. You can easily put it with the four Petronaki Aces. Uh, load I called it at 46. Yeah, oh, I... Oh, no, you said 47. I'm saying 49. 49 would probably be what FFG is going to play. I mean, I hope this thing's 56 points. Um, I doubt it, though. And, yeah, so you can fly your four Petronaki Aces. You most likely aren't going to have to take Predator because you can use the Tracers on this thing. And right. that leaves it open for a, a whole lot of goodies. I'm sorry, people. I know Petronaki Aces is like the Voldemort of mentioning ships right now, but... I, too soon? Yeah. I mean, if... That's the thing. If I can fly meta and a brand new ship, yeah, you know, people are definitely going to want that. Um, and being yeah. able to see something's dial with ships that can tractor beam themselves out of the way um, just is going to make... And then they can rotate their arc and make sure that they have you um, all together. So, wow, FFG, that is a solid base ship at initiative. Yep. Five. Initiative 5. So it's an ace as well. And and I think it's going to be a cheap ace. Absolutely. Um, I hope not. But well, I know you hope not. I just, I, just, <laughs> I just think FFG is you know. Let's sell some ships. Yeah, currently, yeah. Uh, that is, that's currently the path that they're taking. Um, but you know, there's always points adjustments. There's always ways to fix it down the road. But I mean. This is a home run out of the park for the droids. Uh, by yeah. that, I mean, th this is something that they're going to be able to take advantage of. And it, it's quite cool. easily. Yeah, it, quite easily, too. <laughs> um, and getting a lock uh, on a ship, because as you we're going to look at later, there are cards that you're going to be able to get a lock with pretty easily. Um, but now this one is very interesting. Here's some Predator. What do we got here, Padre? Well, with with the fearsome predator, okay, they're not nice. Let's begin that right yeah. there. They're not nice. After placing forces, assign a fearful prey condition to one enemy ship. All right. And by the way, you can have three of these. <laughs> three. Yes. In. in in, in your in your squad now in order to understand the fearful prey card we we must immediately go to the 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 fearful prey uh, upgrade card mm -hmm. play it there patrick go ahead so you can take three ships but only one fearful prey which i think is very good of ffg to balance that out so you can't take three fearful prey ships and assign three fearful preys uh, on three different ships and just, you know, go to town. You can take three of them, assign one fearful prey to one ship, 
and go to town on that ship like an ace or even a large base ship that you know is slow and is going to be taking some damage. Um, so, after you defend against an enemy fearful predator, if you do not spend at least one green token during the attack, gain one strain token. So, you're going to be able to pretty much shoot, sign a strain token if they don't spend that green token, and then the next guy that shoots, that's one minus agility, then the third one shoots, and you get to assign another strain token back onto that ship. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's going to stack. You're gonna, your other ships that you have in your list are going to take advantage of it as well. Yeah, because let's face it, they're all network calculating uh, with each other. Exactly. So yeah, you honestly don't need more than, like you said earlier when we were talking, if each one of those droid ships was ever was able to carry this, this would just be a, a completely nasty card of unbelievable magnitude. Yep. People would be gnashing their teeth, pulling their hair, and whining to all ends of the universe because of this. <laughs> True. But, you know, it's one card. Yep. Uh, so uh, you could easily take just one of the Fearful Prey, and then you get this one card. Uh it would be able to kind of be your flanker and your all initiative one, twos, and even possibly your threes would be able to take advantage of that one strain token. It does come off once you defend or if that ship does a blue maneuver, but it's, there are other things that assign strain tokens as well. So it's, it's going to be interesting. Um, yeah. And now it's this T eight one, uh, another really gruesome, uh, card. And I love the nickname clever circuits. While you yeah. defend or perform an attack, you may spend one Calculate token from a friendly ship in the enemy's firing arc to change one focus result to an evade or a hit result. So, I mean, this is the same thing to where this thing can be here, Sunterfell's at range 3, but then the ship that Sunterfell's shooting at is, like, way up here somewhere at range 3, and because you're shooting at that ship, this one can spend a calculate. Um, actually, no, I think I did that right. While you defend or perform, oh yeah, while you okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. While you perform an attack, um, you can spend the ship that Sunterfell might be looking at that has multiple calculates. Spend that one while you're shooting at Sunterfell, or vice versa. So this is in, yeah, it's basically it's, it's, unlimited it's, network calculations. Yeah, it's a pinball. It's a pinball card. Ping, yeah. ping, 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 ping. So again, like most, like all of these are going to be probably flankers. If this thing decides to flank and your enemies decide to turn in on it, um, as long as you have another droid that's <laughs> in some sort of arc of the enemy, mm -hmm. it's going to be able to spend that calculate. Um, and initiative four. And initiative four, which is uh, it's a solid initiative. I mean, again, yep. that four, we all know what other ship has an initiative four. It can easily fly with them, keep up. And it's going to be able to do some damage. Uh, again, Thread Tracers. Um, the Relay Droids don't really uh, help with ships that can take focus. But if you fly this with all the other ships that can take a Calculate and it can take a Relay Droid, I don't think it can, but who knows? Um, yeah, right. uh, this thing could be the new carrier uh, instead of the Belly Rub, which has been a, has been a classic ship for the droids for a while. When it comes to carrying the relay droids, um, but but all good things must come to an end. Exactly, because we are back at the separatist interceptors. All right, we're gonna head over to the upgrade cards. All right, so first, right out of the box, configuration intercept booster attached. During the setup phase, you equip this card face up, and then during the systems phase, you gain one disarm token, which means right out of the gate, you are not allowed to shoot as long as this card is face up. At the end of the end phase, which is very hard to say for some reason for me, at the end of the end phase, which is the endest of the phases, if you have no active charges, you flip this card, and it's got three charges, but if you notice, it goes down. So every turn, you're losing a charge, basically. And you can then do a slam into a linked target lock action. So... I mean, this thing is basically there to slam, maybe get a target lock that first turn. If not, then move and slam again, get that target lock, and then get out of dodge that third time to 
the move and slam and then get that target lock for maybe another one of these uh, ships that can use it or your HMP droids. Uh, you get out there, you get the target lock for them, and then they can assault whatever ship that they need to. They get that target lock, they can then take a different action instead of using the lock for it. Very interesting card. What do you think, Pod? Yes, and and uh, interestingly enough, the, the backside of the card, pretty much nothing. So yeah, once this card is uh, expended of all its charges, that's it. Interceptor, intercept booster detached. Um, and then it has this very, uh, un- <laughs> very long description. Um, yeah, of what it is. So, so I love the whole paragraph. I, I'm sorry. I just, it's great. I'm going to do it. All right, go ahead, read it, but quickly. Unhindered by the frailty of an organic pilot, droid tri fighters are capable of radical acceleration and acute maneuvering. Fitted with booster rockets and fired from the missile tubes of separatist capital ships, they can intercept hostiles well beyond the range of convert. What was that? Conventionally deployed starfighters. I mean, it's just it's just telling you I'm bad. Well, I fired out of a missile tube because it's a droid. It <laughs> it has a high tolerance for G force. <laughs> well, so it, has, just... it has all tolerance for G4. Yeah, you just launch this thing out of a torpedo tube. Um, yeah, it's it's just mean. Yeah, and it also it works with another card later. We'll go over that. Um, so yeah, there's your Discord missiles. Uh, still the same. Equip three of them. Uh, you spend one charge and you launch some budge, uh, buzz droids out the front. Um, wow, that's going to be a really good combination with that. Um, now our tracers. This is the big one. Uh, this is our zombie card because it is October. We're gonna we're yes. uh, <laughs> and it's an, a blast from the past from first edition, the XX twenty three S thread tracers. What do we got, Padre? Well, you gotta have uh, for the attack. You have to have a focus or a calculate or a target lock. You're going to spend one charge. If this attack hits each friendly ship at range one to three of the defender, may acquire a lock on the defender. Then cancel all the dice resorts, results. Yep. And you get. And of course, you get two charges on this puppy. Yeah. Range one to three. Um, I mean, with this faction specifically, this is going to be a good card because you, uh, you have your HMP droids, you have your your certain tri droids that like target locks um and it also allows ships that don't have the target lock action to acquire a lock um for that turn yep. so that's going to be amazing that you can spam a bunch of stuff but this thing is not faction specific so this is going to benefit a lot of lists out there now, um if you could figure out how to use it with your list it's a nice card Yep. Well, we've already seen in our Discord channel a bunch of people posting. It's like Z95 swarms, your TIE fighter swarms, your, your everything and everything um, that'll just absolutely take advantage of it. It does have to hit. I mean, you still need that. Oh, yeah. You, you still need to hit. That's. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, if you can guarantee, you know, those hits, you're looking good, Patrick. Oh, I know. Uh, so it, it's just going to be a really crazy card. I mean, we'll see what it's priced at, but yeah, this, I mean, uh, and it doesn't say you can't reload it, so <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be one of those cards that if it's cheap enough, it's going to be in a lot of lists um, yep. that have like maybe four or more ships. It's just going to be that good. Um, you can only carry two of them. You're limited, but still, that's a lot of, of these missiles that you can just stick into a list. So very yeah. excited for that. Um, Fire control systems. So, I mean, the, these cards are funny. You, you're like, oh, I already own like four of those. But it gives you a clear tale or a clear tell that this Tri Fighter is going to be able to equip us, you know, this slot. Um, and it can take fire control systems, which is a really good card for a ship that can acquire a lock or use target lock shenanigans like the Initiative 3 ship. Um, <laughs> that can just acquire a target lock if something else has it locked. All right. Up 
next? Denver going to the Marge Simpson card. Yes. All right, go ahead. Read this one because this is so interesting, and I love FFG's approach here. After you fully execute a maneuver, if you moved through an obstacle, a structure, or a huge ship, or if you de- if you deployed, you may choose one enemy ship in your forward firing arc at range one to two. That ship immediately gains one strain token. <laughs> I uh, just came to the party. Have a strain. Yes. I mean, so... It's, it's, and you get a strain token, and you get a strain token, and, you know, how many of these do you want to equip on your, on your flight? But the yeah. important things, the important words in this card was obstacle, structure, or huge ship. Yeah. So. And obstacle, we kind of got an idea of. And we know about huge ships because they want us to use this, obviously, when you're getting deployed from a huge ship. Like a torpedo tube. <laughs> but what is a structure? That is something I was very curious about. So now, now, as you just said, yep, torpedo tube was mentioned in this article. Yes, and you're getting deployed at some point in the future. What may there be a possibility of, Patrick? I, it might be that they're coming out with more epic stuff for the separatists, which would be very exciting. I do love the sea rock, be, but it's a scum you know, ship. I'm sorry, but you know, launching your 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 tri fighters out of a ship through their torpedo tubes at strain token, strain token, strain token. Yeah, but um, I want to know what the structure is. Yeah, so I'm definitely interested in what maybe FFG is coming out with for actual physical items that you're going to be able to put on the table. And they're going to be, you know, your your bases or your your other items that your ship can uh, so, play with. So, so for those who also play the the not Star Wars Star Wars game, oh, Heroes of the Tory Cluster and Flight Group Alpha, yep. There's structures in that game. Lots of structures, um, and I mean, let's just break this down for a minute. So it's after you fully execute a maneuver. So we already know that this thing has a slam button. Um, so, I mean, the initiative three guy that can shoot and assign a strain token, that's, that's going to be a very good combo because if for some reason there, your opponent's focused on whatever else you have on the table, you have this little initiative three flanker that is just slamming down the board. He's going to execute his slam. He's going to get you in his arc as long as you're not shooting it, it. And you're going to be able to assign strain tokens to those specific ships that you want to have a strain token right out of the gate. Um, Wow. I think this is going to end up being a fun card. Yeah, and it's small or medium, so it can go on different sized ships. Uh, The Separatists don't have a medium ship yet, but... (laughs) So we already know that there's a medium-based ship coming out. Um, That's going to be very interesting to have that on a fire spray. Because yes. it does have that front arc. It's just, it, and there's nothing to do. You just execute a maneuver and you just choose and, a ship and assign it a strain token. Yep. So, not like very feel, fearful of this card. <laughs> it's yeah. it's going to be a, it's going to be a, a crazy day for this, for the alliance there. And finally, last, but certainly not least, Independent calculations. All right, go ahead, Padre. Replace your network calculation ship ability with the following. Independent calculations. While you perform a white calculate action, you may treat it as red to gain one additional calculate token. Other ships cannot spend your calculate tokens using the networked calculations ship ability. So they can't touch any of your tokens. Yeah. Not just the extra one. Any. Yeah. And this is a modification slot. Um, Mm -hmm. So now with the, some of the droids that I'm already thinking of that are allowed to use your calculations like disc T81, 
who can still spend your calculates as if they're his own or her own or its own, uh, as long as that enemy is shooting at something that's also in the same arc. So, I mean, that might be a staple for that droid. Uh, wow. Having two I'm sure this is going to, to get some experimentation. Yeah. And, oh, absolutely. And yeah. yeah. Two calculates. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, see, this is going to be a good card. I will see. I, immediately, your brain just goes to like, what possibilities could I do with this thing? Um, and you also already have the DFS 311. If you guys don't remember that one, at the start of the engagement phase, you may transfer one of your calculate tokens to another friendly ship at range zero to three. So, you can take a mod slot with them too. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately, yep. it's like, uh, yep. no, he's just going to sit there and pass the butter. That's all he's going to do. And he gets two yep. calculates every turn to do it. So he's fine. He can still use technically yeah. network calculations. Um, We're fine. Everything's yeah. good here. Who are you? <laughs> it's, it's a really good card. Um, you're going to be able to yes. do some shenanigans with it. And yeah, it's standardized. So basically, what is standardized? I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. I guess we'll have to read the special rules when we get to it. Yeah, I mean, why well, we can easily search the article and see what's standardized. Uh, standardized. Okay. Um, this upgrade is standardized across all ships of the same type in a squadron, requiring all ships of that type to be equipped with a copy whether used on a group of droid tri-fighters or to make some hyena-class droid bombers operate on their own. This upgrade unlocks deadly new ways for the Separatist Alliance to utilize... Utilize? Utilize their starfighters. <laughs> so, I mean, this is going to be an amazing card. Let's go over that dial finally, now that we've known all the cards together. This thing, of course, is a, is a fighter. This thing has got an incredible dial. It's got it's a beast. Yeah, the one hards, the one talon rolls. You got your two blues. Your two banks are not blue. Um, it, it's pretty common for ships to need that blue bank, um, especially if you're doing a bunch of linked actions and stuff like that. Right, but um, your two hards are blue. Yeah, and your two straights, your three hards are blue, and yes. your three straights along with your four straights. This thing can scream five forward, and it has access to two k turns the three and the five that is yeah. a killer dial absolutely yeah and and i mean when you consider the uh red to non-red maneuvers on this dial uh holy crow absolutely i like you know that's just this is just this is a beautiful dial yeah I, it's a killer dial is what it is um so yeah. i mean with that this thing can clear stress super easily it can be super maneuverable. It can be in many places at once with this almost unlimited dial, slam actions that it can possibly take, passing off uh, different types of locks with the thread tracers, and also just a plethora yep. of weapons at your arsenal. And, I mean, we don't know its cost. We don't know what upgrades fully it can have. Most likely it's only the stuff in this pack, but trust me, keep your, keep your eyes open for things that it can equip as and well. It, and based off of the photos that we've seen of it, gorgeous model, good paint on it. Yep. Uh, it's a little bit on the small side. It's going to be about the same size as uh, an Ather Sprite. Yep. Uh, but that doesn't detract from what it's going to be able to do on the mat. Definitely not. At all. All right. We're going to call it there. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, share below. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have any excitement about this, please let us know. Uh, In and, the comments. Yeah, please yeah. leave us comments. We love it. Absolutely. Uh, and <laughs> go pre-order now. Have a good one. And thanks for watching. See ya. Thank you again for watching our video. Please click on the like, subscribe, and share button below to help build the channel. 
Thank you to all of our Patreon members. Your devotion to us, it's driving us to do more content all the time, and we're going to keep bringing you as much as possible. If you want to join any of our social media accounts, you can see them above, and in the description below are the links to each of them. You can join our Discord, our two Facebook channels, our two YouTube channels. We go live on Twitch Saturdays and Sunday nights, and you can also go over to our recontokens.com webpage where you can buy all the latest and greatest tokens for all of your favorite games. And if you don't see them there... Go ahead and email us at recontokens at gmail.com and we can build a custom token or we can even incorporate your logo into the token and you can play with them, use them as any type of marker. So thank you again and have a good day.